something wonderful about living with antiques because you're living with history. And if you can put them together in a way that's, I think, uh, modern and eclectic, you can live with pieces that are several hundred years apart. Several women who were on the board of Eastside House started it. They thought it would be a wonderful fundraising opportunity. Little did they probably realize then that we'd end up raising as much money as we have over the years. But it's a very, very important ingredient in our fundraising for Eastside House settlement. Uh, participating in a show like here allows you to really uh, create a little vignette. I think first you please yourself because you can really showcase pieces. The most important piece, the rarest, uh, the great pride of this year uh, is this room uh, paneling by Jean Dunant. Uh, Jean Dunant was one of the most important French lacquer in the uh, Art Deco period and uh, uh, this room was uh, a special commission for a San Francisco apartment for Mr. Templeton Crocker in 1928. This is um, a stained glass piece uh, from the Art Deco period uh, from the 1925-1928 after a design by uh, Greta uh, Wagner uh, who was an illustrator and our goal was to present something very graphic that you could really see from very far. Since it's our Diamond Jubilee, we were very, very lucky, courtesy of Wartsky, to get, this is in a private collection, a tiara that was worn by Queen Victoria. And in fact, this is in a painting by Winterhalder, uh, a portrait, I believe it was done around 1842, with Queen Victoria wearing this very tiara. So to have this on loan is really kind of a special thing. Well, we've always been attracted to American country antiques of the 18th and 19th centuries, and the emphasis of our material has always been on original surface, and in most cases that means paint. So things that are most, most exuberantly painted are probably the, the Pennsylvania German decorated chests, which are also commonly referred to as dower chests. And these pieces were made of softwoods, pine and poplar, which would have no real interest in terms of the wood grain, and so they were painted uh, as decorative objects for the home. When we were first in business, the collectors for this material oftentimes were filling their homes from the floor to the ceiling with period antiques, with rugs on the floor, furniture, everything that sat on the furniture, the lighting, chandeliers, whatever. Today, we're, we're looking at more specialized collectors, collectors who might collect just paintings or just weather vanes. The most important show in the country in terms of American antiques is certainly the Winter Antique Show. I often here as a dealer of this material enjoy being on the show of the floor to look at the antiquities, to look at photography, to look at the glass. There are so many things here of extraordinary quality that I want to learn as well as sell at the Winter Antique Show.